So Google recently released their latest version of Agent Development Kit. And as part of the release, they also introduced something called as a Visual Agent Builder. In this video, I want to take you through the entire experience and we will build a multi-agent systems together. So let's jump right in. So ADK includes a web server. You generally would have ADK web. You type in this particular command and that will, that will open up the web server in localhost. The visual builder is actually part of that web server in the new and the latest release. So when I click on this, it opens up the web server where you also have this new mode, which will invoke or which will start the builder mode. So if I click on this, it asks me to give a name. I'm just going to give the name as a agent here. And this is how the interface looks like. You can see there are a couple of things on the left hand side. It gives you a capability to select the model. You know, you can select either 2.5 Flash or 2.5 Pro. You have the ability to create instructions. You can provide some description. So you can see that it is by design built to create multi-agent systems. You can absolutely create a single agent system as well. But by design, it is built to create a multi-agent system. And as part of the overall agent development kit, you know that the agents have access to different tools the agents if it is a multi-agent system that you could create various sub agents and the root agent becomes like the orchestrator and then you can also have the callback so what they've done is they've provided really visually so if you want to build a tool it has got a lot of built-in tools you can create like a custom tool which is a function tool or you can have an agent acting as a tool so agent could be a sub agent or it could be a tool itself so in this case if i select the built-in tool you can see I have the option of selecting Google search, enterprise web search, Vertex AI search tool. So these are part of the search tools. Then you, they have also provided a lot of context tools and then they have provided agent function tools, right? So these are some of the built-in out of the box tools which they have made available. So for example, if I want to have, let's say here in this case, a Google search tool. So if I click on this, you will see that now as part of the visual interface, it is already here. Then I can go ahead and create a sub agent. So for example, I want to have an orchestrator agent and then a sequential agent. So if I click on this, it will start to create a sequential agent for me. And then I can fill this one with an LLM agent. And again, you are able to describe what an LLM agent should look like, right? So this is how you are able to build. And then you can also like define callbacks, which, which could be part of the agent lifecycle or part of the LLM interaction itself or as part of the tool execution. So let's say that I run it after this and I'm going to say success. You will see that this will become part of that overall overall workflow, right? So if you want to go ahead and build something visually, you are you're most welcome to do that. Now, what you could also do is let's say that I'm, I want to create another one, which is agent one, two, three. And this time I actually want to use the AI assistant, which is really the coolest feature over here. Let's say that I want to say that I want to create a brand new agent. So I'm going to say that create a multi agent. So I'm going to give this particular command and it says that, okay, great. I'll help you to create this particular one. What is the main purpose of this multi agent system? Knowing this will help, right? And it is already telling me that the default is 2.5 flash. So I'm going to use this, or you could also ask for a 2.5 pro. So I'm going to use this particular one. And what I really want to do is I want to create like a stock analyzer. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm just now it's asking me like, what is the main purpose of the agent? So I'm going to say that, hey, I want you to go ahead and create a, a system which will. So I'm just going to paste here so that you guys can see the system should have a root LLM agent that greets the user and introduces a stock analysis capability. So I have a greeter agent and then then I should have another agent which is going to do the research and then once it has done the research, the research needs to happen in why Google search. And once it has done all of that, I want it to generate a report for me, right? So that, that is the command that I've given and it gives me good, a good understanding. It also provides me what are the different YAML files that it will create. So you have the configuration for agents, the, it will create root agent YAML. It gives the description and all of that. It also says that I'm going to create like a stock analyzer workflow. It gives you a description of that. I'm going to ask some more questions here so that I'm super clear. So I'm going to say, what will be the file structure? So you can literally like chat with it and it provides you much more detailed response. It says that, okay, these will be part of the project folder. And these are the four YAML files that it will create. So I'm going to say that, okay, go ahead and create all the files. It's going to take a little bit of time and it's, it is going to run. And once it is able to do that, then we will come back and look into what is the file that it has generated. All right, so it has done its job and it has created the overall agent for us along with the structure. So let's look at this. So the first one is a root agent. 
and here it is saying that okay i'm your multi agent system i can help you with stock analysis i can transfer you to the stock analysis workflow so this is basically the greeter or the orchestrator um and then this one is the first sequential agent which will then take the input from the root agent and then push it to the other sub agents so the other sub agents are the first one is a stock ticker it basically provides a stock market ticker symbol if you're asking for an apple stock or something other than that right it needs to identify that and this one is the core function right so this one also uses google search as the built-in tool and you can clearly see the instruction here right so your stock analyzer agent given a stock ticker which will come from here use the google search tool to find the output right and then and create like a well formatted report so that that is the agent for you so you know you you can go ahead and save it so once you have saved it you can go ahead and start having a conversation so i'm just going to say hi and then it should start responding so it says that okay i am your i'm your multi agent system assistant how can i help you or i can help you with stock analysis great can you tell me more about the apple stock so now that i have asked this what it's going to do is as part of our flow it's going to transfer it to the actual stock transfer to the agent which is where it is looking at the actual stock ticker agent you can see here and then once it identifies the stock ticker which is APL then it will invoke the stock analyzer agent which will use the google search tool in exactly how we had described it right and then that's how it is able to give this end to end report which is what we wanted so it's fantastic the current ratings the fundamental analysis what is the latest news and then what is the conclusion you know that is what was a live demonstration of what a multi agent system would look like where there is an orchestrator agent which is passing this to a sequential agent which is identifying the ticker and then doing a research which is also using a tool this was really an example of a multi agent system in action so what was really cool about this whole thing was we built this multi agent system completely visually without writing a single line of code now This may not sound or look like a big deal given we have a lot of different no code tools but don't forget that ADK was initially and it's still now a very developer centric tool right so with this visual builder we are able to accelerate the development and also helps people to really learn the overall ADK framework right you can immediately just by looking at the the UI you are able to understand all different kinds of tools which are available you are able to understand different types of agents which could be a sub agent different kind of callbacks and all of those things right so it's really very good also please do not forget that adk in the end provides a multi agent or a single agent system as an api right the web ui is something that they provided as part of the framework the thought process is once you are done with your testing of the agent then you are going to deploy your agent somewhere right you will have the api endpoint that you should be able to call from your user interface So what I'm planning to do is in my next video I want to create a user interface and really show you how I can deploy this agent and then use it in a custom user interface and basically have that in a public URL right and probably I'm going to use a Google AI Studio vibe coding solution to build that UI so if you're interested in that please let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to build something like that I hope this this added some value to you um if you have any thoughts please let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button and please do subscribe the channel it helps me a lot thank you very much once again for watching it i will see you in the next one